the signs that God is working on you and preparing you for your blessings. God wants to bless us in different ways. His plans for us are good and he wants to shower us with blessings as our father. The Bible is full of his promises to us concerning health and every other blessing. God wants us to enjoy peace, joy, and healing. However, we sometimes go through difficult times when we really desire these blessings, but it just seems as if they are far away. In these times, we may be experiencing seasons when our faith is being tested and God may be working on you to prepare you for your blessing. The truth is that sometimes we may not be ready for what we are praying for. We may not be ready for the blessing that we desire. Just like children feel that they are ready for many things but their parents say no until it's time, God also protects us from ourselves. Instead, He prepared us for our blessings so that when we finally receive them, they would not cause harm to us but only work good in us. Joseph had a dream that his brothers would one day bow to him. He was to be the leader in his family even though he was the second to the last child. Instead of becoming the leader immediately after he had that vision, he was sold into slavery. He had to learn to serve, lead, and manage his master's property. That was not all. He was later thrown into prison for a crime he did not commit. He got to the lowest of lows, but God used even his terrible situation to train him and prepare him for his blessing. When Joseph later became the prime minister of Egypt, it was because of his gift of interpretation of dreams, and in that position, he used his skill as a good manager to store Egypt's food so that the country did not suffer during the years of famine. He went through a difficult season, but God used even that season to prepare him for his blessing. Imagine Joseph met Pharaoh when he only knew how to interpret dreams but did not see the importance of advising Pharaoh to put someone in charge of ensuring food is stored in Egypt during the years Egypt enjoyed a good harvest. Joseph may not have become the prime minister. He may have missed out on his blessing simply because he was not prepared. This is why it is important to allow God to prepare you for your blessing. Make no mistake, the waiting season is difficult but it is better to wait and grow than to enter your season of blessing unprepared. So, what are some of the signs you may note around your life if God is working on you and preparing you for your blessing? 1. When your love for God no longer wavers, whether you receive what you have been asking God for or not, and whether God blesses you or not, our love for God should be based on who God is and not on how much God can do for us. We should seek God because we desire fellowship with Him and not because we have something in particular that we are seeking God for. When our love for God depends on receiving a blessing from Him, then when that does not happen, our love for God will begin to disappear. We must love God and not things, but it is easy to get carried away by things. This is one of the reasons why people's blessings may be delayed. God will not give you something that will take you away from Him. One sign that you are getting mature spiritually and you are prepared to receive your blessing is that the love of God in you remains constant and does not vary every time you do not get your blessings. You have to remember that our focus must always be on God and never on what He can give us. 2. When your faith starts growing concerning all God has told you about your life, many times one thing we really need to receive from God is faith. We cannot access all that God has provided for us except through faith. If we do not believe that we will receive, it may be difficult to receive. When you are in a season where God is preparing you for your blessings, you may realize that you don't have enough faith or that you are struggling to believe that you will receive them. Instead of just giving you the blessing, God will begin to work on your mind and teach you His Word so that it becomes easier for you to believe and receive all that He has for you. In this type of season, you may realize that God is calling you to study more on faith or to listen more to messages on faith. He may also instruct you through the Holy Spirit on faith. When this happens, it may be a sign that God is working on you and preparing you for your blessing. You may not even know exactly when it happens but just realize that you have more faith concerning different things and you no longer struggle to believe you will receive from God. Growing faith shows that something is going on in the background. It shows that you are being taught and you are studying on faith. 
Many times in the Bible we will see God call people names that do not reflect their current situation. He called them names that would only be relevant in their future to ignite their faith. He called Abraham a father of many nations and he called Gideon a mighty man. Growing faith can often be a sign of being prepared for the blessing. 3. When God is working on your character to prepare you for the blessing, what sometimes blocks people from breaking through and from their blessings is their character. The worst case scenario is that they enter a season of blessing, but their character makes them lose their blessings. In the waiting season, one thing that God will work on is your character. He will work on the way you treat people and your conscience. This is so that when you are blessed, you can properly represent Him. God may begin to correct you of things that you do wrong by opening your eyes to them. This might be something that you have been doing for a long time that you had no idea was wrong by God will call your attention to it because it may be what is hindering you from receiving your blessing. God may instruct you to carry out certain instructions just to build your character and to help you change. For example, God can ask you to start giving to those around you even when you do not have so much. He may instruct you to find a way to be. Blessing to them because he is trying to build the character of love and giving in you so that when you are blessed, you will also help others. Abraham's character of hospitality helped him greatly. When he was outside one day, he saw three strangers passing and he invited them into his home. He fed them and invited them into his home. He had not met them before, but he just had that hospitable character. It was one of these strangers who declared that his wife would be a mother the next year. This was a promise God had made to him and his wife for a long time, but a specific time had never been put on it. But because of his hospitality, he could finally receive his blessing. The next year, Sarah, his wife, gave birth to their son Isaac in her old age. God is working on your character because he wants to bless you. He is correcting you and instructing you because he is preparing you for your blessings. Some of your blessings are waiting till you change your character concerning some things. 4. When God inspires you to prepare to receive your blessings, God's instructions are so powerful because obeying them usually leads to the next season in our lives. Sometimes we may not understand the instructions that we are receiving, but it does not mean we should not obey them. As long as that instruction is from God, it has a purpose. Sometimes God may instruct you to start preparing for your blessing, even when it makes absolutely no sense. No one may understand you when you carry out this instruction, but it is God's way of preparing you to receive your blessing. Remember, when Elijah prayed that rain would fall after a season of drought in Israel, he ran ahead of Ahab's chariot. He was so sure that rain was going to fall that he ran. Anyone who saw him running and knew that he was running because of the rain would have probably mocked him because they had not seen rain for years, but Elijah's prayers were answered and rain fell. When a widow came crying to Elisha about her husband's debt and how his creditors were about to take her children as slaves, she mentioned that all she had was a jar of oil. Elisha instructed her to go borrow many jars or vessels, and after age had borrowed them, she should shut the door and pour the oil into all the jars till each was full. This did not seem like an instruction that made much sense. I am sure her neighbors must have wondered why she was borrowing vessels when it was obvious she had nothing to put in it. This woman ignored all that and obeyed the instructions. Then a miracle happened. The jar of oil she had filled all the jars that she borrowed and she sold the oil to pay her debt. Most times when God is instructing you to prepare for your blessings, it does not look like it yet. It does not look like you are getting close to receiving your blessing. And so it would take faith and trust in God to obey that instruction. God may inspire parents who are praying for a child to buy baby clothes, even though the wife is not yet pregnant. He may inspire someone who needs breakthrough financially to give the little they have, or he may instruct someone who is sick to start preparing for when they are healed. These instructions may make no sense, but they are God's ways to prepare you to receive your blessing. 5. When you are no longer comfortable with where you are and you desire more for your life, discomfort is usually a sign that you are about to break through or that you are about to finally receive your blessing. 
As long as you are comfortable with where you are and you have no desire for more, you will not have the faith to receive more because you see no need for it. Sometimes God puts this discomfort in your heart to inspire you to receive more. God has great plans for our lives, some of which we may not even be able to imagine, but sometimes we get too comfortable that we do not move from where we are to the next level. In order to prepare us for that next level, God may cause us to stop being comfortable with where we are and place a desire for more in our hearts. That sudden desire for more and that dissatisfaction and discomfort with your present circumstances can be a clear sign that God is preparing you for your blessing. If you are satisfied, then you will find no reason for you to receive more from God. But when you are no longer comfortable, then you can make space for more of God's blessings in your life. 6. When you have a sudden desire for prayer and fasting and it becomes easier for you. When you are entering a season of blessing and breakthrough, God sometimes prepares you by inspiring you to fast more, pray more, and study the Bible more. He does this so that your faith may grow and you can easily receive whatever He has for you. In such a season, you will realize that God is calling you to pray more and spend more time with Him. You may also need to deny yourself food and wait on the Lord in fasting. Obey this instruction and wait on the Lord. As you pray and fast, you grow your faith and it becomes easier to receive by faith the blessings that God has for you. This may be a sign that God is working on you and preparing you for your blessings. 7. When God gives you confirmations that He will bless you, before you step into your season of blessing, God may begin to speak His word to you about your blessing. He may start to give you confirmation to dreams, visions, and prophecy that He is about to bless you. This is to prepare your heart to receive your blessing and make you prepare for it. These confirmations will help you have faith to receive the blessing that God wants to give you. God may send people to confirm what He has told you in secret about your blessings just to help you believe that your season of blessing is coming. This may be a sign that God is preparing you for your blessings. God takes His time to prepare us for our blessings. We may not be aware of it when the preparation is going on, but God works on our hearts so that it becomes easier for us to receive all that He has for us. When God is working on us this way, it is important that we become aware of it so that we may yield to Him. Many of us have stepped out of our season of preparation because we did not know that that was what was going on and missed out on our season of blessings. This is why the signs in this video are important. Pray with me. Father, I thank you because you have loved me with everlasting love and you have plans to bless me. Thank you for your grace in my life and for every time you help me. I pray that you will teach me to be patient while you are preparing me for my blessings so that I will yield to your instructions. Help me to pay attention to what you are saying to me in this season and to do all that you ask me to do. Help me to be fully prepared for my season of blessing. Thank you for always hearing me when I pray. In Jesus' name, amen.